If you've ever worked in Blender, you've probably come across the situation where you move in towards an object and all of a sudden it just clips and some of the object kind of disappears. Sometimes you go close enough and it disappears altogether. Now this is actually a clipping issue and it has to do with the viewport distances. So in this case, I have a very small monkey here. So it's a smaller object. So getting close, it cuts away. And on the other side, I also have a really big monkey. So I'm going to zoom back out. And this one's really, really large. But now you can see as I zoom back, it also just disappears. And this is just because of the clipping limit that comes in Blender by default. So if you want to fix it, all you have to do is press N to bring up your properties. Simply go to the view. And now in this case, because I have a really large monkey head here, I can come here to the end value. And at the moment it's set to one kilometer or a thousand meters. So I can bump that up to maybe like 2000 meters. And now you can see that clipping issue resolves and I can see the actual scene here. Now in reality, this would be more likely to happen if you had a really large scene, like a landscape with some mountains. So you might actually encounter the situation. And on the other extreme as well with the small, so if I zoom in here to the really small monkey, the same issue here is it has a minimum clip start distance. So I might make it 0 0.001, make it even smaller. And now you can see I can come in close to this monkey, no problem whatsoever. So that is how you solve the clipping. And also just for your information, you can also change the focal length just like you can with your actual camera and your scene. The viewport itself has a focal length. So at the moment it's 50 millimeters. I can change that to like 24 and now I get more of like a, um, a wider view. I can even take it down to maybe like 16. Now it's like crazy wide, or you can make it like really sort of shallow by going like to 120 millimeters. So anyway, I think that's enough for this quick little tutorial. I hope this is handy and it's helped somebody. And I'll see you guys next time for another Blender tutorial.